I brought some of Robert's clothes in case you need them. Oh, great. Thank you very much. Well, whatever you did, it worked. No sign of Sean's man when I came back up. Yes, you know, poor guy. He had an unfortunate running with hotel security. Uh, arranged by you? Uh, I just happened to mention to the, uh, the hotel manager that, well, you know, with this, this rush of uh, burglaries that have been mm. going on in Port Charles, perhaps you should just take a look at this guy that was loitering outside my door. Absolutely. However, I don't think it'll last. Sean will have somebody else there as soon as he knows what's happened. Yeah, then I'd better make this fast. Besides, Sean is expecting me at those festivities. Oh. Any word from Robert? No, no, I don't expect one either. He's going to be partially busy. Frisco and Felicia? Yes, they were here earlier. Mm -hmm. They're trying to keep Sean at the Pullman. It's not going to take him long to realize that Robert is missing. It's really important to store him so that Robert can get back before he knows he's gone. Yeah, it could be disastrous if he realizes that Robert is checking out his spy network. Is there any way that you can help Frisco and Felicia, you know, just kind of Keep him off track or something. I can certainly give it a try. Okay. I'll head over there right now. Um, Grant. Hmm? You know, do you have any regrets? Regrets about what? Well, about agreeing to go on this trip, this uh, celebration of Celia's wedding. <laughs> oh, I can always sell my story to some scandal rag. You still love her, don't you? I had my chance. Yeah. I really admire you. I don't think I'd be quite so noble about such a loss. Haven't you been? You know, Robert. From what you told me, it hasn't been easy for you to let go. Hmm. That make us then? Are like partners in misery? No. No, I brought it on myself. I blew it. I threw away the... the one thing I really had going for me after I defected from the DVX. Celia. Yeah. I didn't know who I was. I was so busy trying to come up with some identity for myself that I didn't allow Celia to fulfill hers. Well, you know, you've got to find out about yourself before you can understand anyone else. Oh, I still don't know who I am. It's also... What? Anna, all I really wanted was to be an American. To achieve the American dream. <laughs> Whatever that may be. Well, you must have some idea. Oh, yeah. My idea of it was a five-letter word. M-O-N-E-Y, money. Yeah, money. Well, it's part of it. Is that why you took the treasure? I thought the way to see in his heart was through a purse. I just recently realized what a jackass I was. Well, you're not looking at the brightest woman in the world right here. Oh, you were far smarter than I. Why? Because you cut your losses and moved on. I hung around and had my nose rubbed in it. No. They're not as different as you imagine. I'm not looking forward to this train trip. But it's afterwards, when we return, that I really dread. Why? Because then I'm going to have to face myself. I'm going to have to decide who I am, what I want out of life. Join the club. We do talk the same language, don't we? Yeah. Because we're kind of in the same boat. <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> but first, we've got a train ride to share. Oh, right. Mm. I'm going to get over there now. You take care of yourself. Yes, you too. Just a good divider than to be in Carolina in the morning. Aren't they terrific? Listen, I would like to invite one and all to visit our fair city. You know, Fort Charles has a good deal more to offer than the barbershop quartet and the Pullman here. I mean, if you're uh, looking for an ideal spot to spend a late summer vacation, think about Fort Charles. You won't be sorry. Thank you very much. You've just heard from poor Charles' chamber of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> you all stay tuned right now. We're going to bring you back to your regularly scheduled programs, but we're going to be back for more of the festivities in just a few minutes. As we're around for the departure of the Wedding Express. Wedding Express. <laughs> Perfect. Nice stuff, Will. Thanks okay. a lot. You all have a good time, all right? Will do. Hey! Oh, yeah. Hi! You How you look doing? great! Yeah, where'd you find these costumes? Oh! We all together with Don Mandy Stories. Really? We wear them all the time, dear. Well... Maybe we'll start a trend. Well, look, let's look at 
only saying for myself, I'm sticking to jeans and running shoes. <laughs> Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Donnelly, no matter what. Oh, just the people I was looking for. <clears throat> you two Donald? are so engrossed in your conversation, I hated to interrupt, but I was wondering if you could help me. Oh, anything you need. What's up? As a member of the media, this show, I'm sure he keeps tabs on everyone here. Maybe you can tell me where the rest of my guests are. Well, I don't know. It looks to me like most of them have arrived. Well, I, I think we're still going to do. Don't you have interviews lined up with uh, some of the people who have arrived here? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do, actually. Uh, the other main so. should be here pretty shortly. Oh, good, good, good. Anyone else? Oh, not that I can think of, no. Uh, well, I uh, just want to make sure that we get here. Uh, yeah, sure. What about uh, Robert Nana? Oh, well, I interviewed them this morning already. Yeah, they're scheduled for a follow-up interview when they get here, but Robert promised me he would show up, so I, I imagine that uh, they might be detained or something, but they'll be here. Oh, no time. Oh, hey, excuse me, please. Uh, Sean, may I take you a moment to drive it? Oh, of course. Of course. Thank you. Let's go. Excuse me. Oh, no problem. I wonder what that's all about. Our lookout man in the hotel was spotted. How do you know? The manager had him removed from the hallway. Why? Anna's advantage. Okay. But why should she and Robert care? I mean, if they are tucked away cozily in the hotel room, what difference does it make these in the hotel room? Maybe you should ask them. I'm sure Robert must be able to ask them. Because they only have five hours of taking a visit. This wasn't like a third of the company. General Hospital will continue in a moment. Yes, I would say probably in the nick of time because Donnelly was on his way to Anna's hotel room, I think. What's the next step? I'm going to put him on TV, that's what I'm going to do. Can I help him? Yeah. Find Amanda Baring, all right? Tell her I need her to interview Donnelly. Try to get a tour of the Pullman, okay? That's what keep you busy for a while. Will you do that? Great. All right, cue the station. Tell them I'm going live. Just like that? Just like that. This is showtime. John, John, come on down here for a second, will you please? Listen, you are the man of the hour, and everybody in Fort Charles would like to talk to you. Oh, no, no, Sean, I'm sorry. This is live TVQ. Here we are, back to the festivities, ladies and gentlemen. And I am very fortunate to have, to have found, I guess you could say, the man of the hour, Mr. Sean Donnelly, who's responsible for this entire expedition and all the festivities today. Thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule, Sean, to talk with us. Oh, my pleasure. Sir. Tell me something. Um, a little bit about the uh, expedition here. Why in the world would a man like you want to buy a home? <laughs> well, it's hardly the type of information that your viewers are used to, Frisco. I mean, my buying and renovating this Pullman uh, pales in comparison to your sensational announcements about buried treasure and price that you don't stand from in the harbor. Now, uh, tell me, has anyone uh, claimed it yet? No, no, actually not yet. Interesting. Oh, very. <laughs> but then again, we always run into the uh, matter of proving ownership, don't we? I just wish I could. However, if you're in a position to give the treasure away... I'll give it to my favorite charity. I was just about to suggest that myself. Uh, tell me, uh, do you have trouble sleeping at night? I know I would if I had. Don't you? Don't you have trouble sleeping at night? I mean, I'll tell you, a man with uh, the vast investment such as yours, I know that I would probably spend every one of my uh, accounts in my life. <laughs> I spend most of my time. <laughs> that is exactly what I have to do now. So if you and your viewers will Celia, excuse me. Jimmy Lee. Excuse me, Sean. Stay here, will you please? Yes. Here we go. Here's the happy couple of the day. How would you would you do us a favor? One for talking to station and all the people in Port Charles. And secondly, thank you for having us here. Wonderful well, party today. Thank you. Thank you. Well, don't thank you. Thanks, Sean Donnelly, because without him, none of this could have been possible. That's right. We owe everything to my good friend here, Sean Donnelly. It was his idea to have the wedding party on the Pullman car. You know, in this day of doggy dog world, it's not easy to find a man who thinks of others first. <laughs> <laughs>